Welcome back to Blender for Blogs, where we are using Blender to edit videos for our blogs. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out my website, blenderfrenzy.com, or my YouTube channel, Blender Frenzy, and you'll get all the information you need there. Uh, this video is the start of phase three. So far, we've done phase one, where we have uh, imported our footage and cut out everything we don't want. Phase two was removing our green screen and creating an image sequence. And now phase three is adding all of our fun stuff like fades and transitions and animations and everything else uh, that you would see for the visuals. So let's get started with that. The first thing that I want to talk about, and this video is going to be about uh, solving the outline problem. And I'll show you what I mean. So uh, we are opened up to our last file that we had, b4b underscore demo underscore 0303. Of course, I'm going to control shift S to save as, and I'm going to um, save this as 401. And then I'm going to save it again as I do. Oops, plus to 402 and then save it. And if you don't know why, go back and watch my earlier videos. I explained that. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to our cut to scene and I'm going to uh, make a full copy. And then I'm going to actually name this mix one or edit one or blend one if you want to do that. I think mix looks nice there. So then I'm going to go to 01 just video editing here hit home so we can see all of what we have there and here is our pre-cut footage where we have cut um, out everything that we don't want again that was uh, phase one i'm going to go to the beginning and we're going to add our image sequence right over the top of this i'm going to hit the in key to pull up our properties over here and i'm just going to kind of um ah, if i can grab that slide that down just a little bit there okay and then i'm going to um so this video file is going to be on channel 11 or it is on channel 11 so i want uh the image sequence to go above that on channel 12 i'm going to hit shift a to add in an image going to navigate to our image sequence here um which is in this folder i put underscore current for the that's what the current file is that I'm using you can do whatever you want you don't have to do that um, but I have it here all of my images and before I select all of them I'm going to go to channel and I'm going to type in 12 and enter then I'm going to hover over here hit a to select all of them and then add image strip and it adds it right on top of there if you forget to do the channel thing it'll add it all the way at the bottom just grab it and move it up uh, to the top there. Now the very first thing you can see if I drag this down and scroll in and I'm actually going to come over here to the side panel down where it says view settings um, and the proxy size 25% and if you don't see view settings make sure you're on the strip tab up here instead of the modifiers tab so strip tab uh, view settings proxy size I'm just going to do no proxy full render and you can see we have this ugly ugly outline that we thought that we've got rid of last time because we did a whole bunch of testing and we did so um why is it showing up here well if you remember um the strip if you have that strip selected here let's kind of zoom in a little bit um you got to make sure your blend mode is in overdrop so select cross and then go to overdrop and now you can see it's disappeared everything has disappeared now, of course, uh, we spend a whole bunch of time trying to get rid of this green screen, so we, we of course, we don't want that. And that's just because it's uh, basically it's overdropping our uh, our image sequence right on top of our original footage, so it can't you can't really even tell the difference there. Um, so we're just going to hide this video strip here. So we're going to select all of these since they're all in chunks, and. Oh, by the way, I did a box select, so I just hit B to box select all of those, and then I hit H to hide. And now you can see, um, once again, we have that nasty little outline that has popped up. Why is that? Um, we have hidden our video file, and our audio file doesn't have any visual qualities to it, but let's just you know do it just in case because who knows because it's blender so we're gonna b for box select again and then h to hide that 
And nope, it still is there. Why? We have um, our overdrop and we have everything else hidden and there's nothing else in here. Um, and the reason is, is because we have nothing else in here. <laughs> and I don't know why that is. Uh, we have this little outline that appears if there's nothing beneath our image sequence or any sort of transparency or image. You might get some funny little outlines depending on what you're in, uh, importing, what, your, what qualities your image has. So um, what we're going to do is actually go to the start, shift and left arrow, shift A to add in an effect strip and then color and then grab that and on the Y and move it up. So G, Y, and then we're gonna move that up. And there we can see uh, we have a black background down there. I'm gonna change the length uh, to, is 25, you can just click and drag and that changes the length. But what I'm gonna do is select our image sequence strip, hover over length, control C to copy that frame number, select our color again, hover over length, Control V to paste that in, and then that just matches the length there. So that's an easy way to quickly do that. And you can see uh, our outline is now gone. And if it still shows, try to uh, do your refresh sequencer. Okay, so um, now when I play it, uh, we don't hear anything. Uh, it looks good, but we don't hear anything because we've muted our audio. Um, so what I'm going to do though since we have these little chunks that we have to select individually or box select i don't want to keep box selecting so i'm going to box select all of them unhide them by double h um, uh, if you have not used my key configuration i think it's it's alt h uh, to unhide things but i'm going to unhide them and then i'm going to select uh just the video files and I'm going to do Control G, and that will make a meta strip. Basically, it groups them. So Control G is grouping, and it makes what's called a meta strip. And now I can just select just that, and I can grab it, and I can move it around, and all of that good stuff there. Um, and undo that. I'm going to do the same thing with our audio. So B. Box select those and control G. And that moves this up for some reason. And then I'm just going to do G, Y, and then move that back down. Okay, but let's uh, hide our video again. See, now we can select these. So let's hide our video, H. And you can see, again, we have that nasty little outline sneaking up on us like that. And uh, that's really frustrating. And it's like, why in the world we we've done everything? We've we've uh, overdrop. We ha have um, hidden our our video file. Uh, our audio file doesn't actually have visual properties, and we have a color on the end. Well, the reason this is doing this is because I found out uh, that meta strips are um, even though you have audio in here, a meta strip if you don't change the blend mode. To overdrop then it will show that outline so I'm going to change that to overdrop and now we go we've got gotten rid of that outline so um, again just these little quirks with blender and little bugs that that, ha that it has I don't think that it should have to do that like if, if you have um, a, a transparency that's over something else I don't think that whatever's on the bottom needs to be uh, in a blend mode of overdrop uh, which is strange to me, but alas, that is why. So you kind of play with things and see if you can, you know, find out uh, what that outline is. And if you have tried everything that I've done and you still have that outline, um, you might want to do this color thing and just see if you can change the color, okay? If you can change that color to something different than what you have, maybe, you know, it wasn't black when you first imported it in, um, but uh, you can change the color, and if you don't see that color changing, then what's most likely happen is uh, if we pull this back out again, uh, remember we rendered our images in PNG form. If you didn't change this from RGB to RGBA, 
then you do not have transparency because that A is the alpha for the transparency around the figure here. So um, if you left that on RGB, then your black background or whatever color background you had will have been um, rendered uh, along with it. And if that's the case, then you're going to have to render everything all over again. And an easy way to check is to go to your file, your um, folder for the image sequence. And if you don't see the, the bl a white background, um, then most likely, yeah, it's not transparent. Um, unless you did render it with a completely white background. But normally the white background is for the transparency. So uh, it's another way you can check. So just make sure that when you start to render um, that your background is, is being rendered white and that you make sure that uh, RGBA is checked there. Just as a reminder um, for making your image sequence. Okay, so we have eliminated our uh, outline there, which is good. Um, but what I'm going to do, the last thing I'm going to do actually here is I'm going to, instead of using these meta strips, uh, which contain the actual cuts in all of them, I'm actually just going to delete those and then import our um, movie, which was the phase one pre-cut footage, which was all of those cuts, but it was rendered out into all one video. So grab that on the Y and bring that up. And there we go. Uh, and of course, if you know me, I like to switch that uh, video and audio around like that. So um, now that's going to be easier to mess with than the meta strip. The reason I didn't do this first is because I wanted to show you what happens to that outline using those meta strips. Okay, so what we're going to do is just uh, select our video, hide that, and actually I'm probably going to select the video and the audio and just grab those and move them all the way down. Um, not too far because if you just keep going they'll overlap on each other and you see that red outline just to where the, yeah, just like that where the audio is on the bottom one. That way we can, when we play Welcome it, to Blender for Blog. we can still hear it. And, this is a video series that is um, and then we have our color, which I'm going to change to black again. And then we have our video, our, our image sequence, I mean. And there we go. And now we're ready to start adding in backgrounds and um, moving this guy out of the way a little bit and getting on with some fun stuff. So that is how you fix that little outline problem. All right, so we're going to save. And we'll see you in the next one.